All right, so the next technique I'm going to show is the uh, pro progression uh, for uh, stabilizer strengthening. Um, this is going to be for patients who have lateral epicondylitis, um, but the rationale behind it is that they have a weak uh, uh, mus musculature around the scapula, and the positioning may be out of place, and, and there also could be instability of the scapula. So I will start with a short to long arm progression uh, for these exercises. So first thing I'll do is I'll have the patient lying prone, as the therapist will be sitting next to him. I will tell the patient um, and instruct him to put his hands uh, behind his head to interlock his fingers. And I will have him to raise his elbows up off the table towards the ceiling, not to activate the upper trap, but really to facilitate the middle and lower traps. And I could uh, give him some tactile cues to help him uh, do these exercises. And I'd want him to do three sets of 10, because uh, it's now five or 15. And once the patient is able to get to that stage, I, will, I could progress him to the next uh, level, which is gonna be arms at 90 degrees out to his side, and his elbows, uh, his shoulder will be at 90 degrees as well, elbows 90. And I will have him take his elbows and arm and lift, rise him up off the table towards the ceiling, just like this, not to activate the upper traps, but to activate the middle and lower traps so I can give a tactile uh, cue and, and get some feedback from him there that way. And then if he can do three sets of 10 as well for this one, I will then progress him next to the airplane, which is gonna be arms out straight by his side, and uh, his thumbs will be up, and then I will have him raise his arms and bring his thumbs to the ceiling just like this, not to activate the upper trap, but to do more of the middle and lower trap, three sets of 10 as well. And once the patient uh, has done really well for this, I could show him another exercise that could be done, and that's gonna be wall slide exercises. So next, the patient will be standing up against the wall, and his arms will be out to his side just like this, and his uh, scapula is going to be up against the wall, and his arms are gonna be up, up against the wall along with his elbows, I wanna keep them next to the wall. And then I'll have him raise his arms up at the same time towards as high as he can go, keeping his elbows and scapula next to the wall, there we go. And he can do three sets of 10 as well for these, because uh, it's not five or 15. 